Since the new constitution was passed in 2010, Kenyans have continued to witness change in their lives and in the way the country is governed. The new constitution gives citizens the right to public information. This includes legal information such as the laws of Kenya and the decisions of the courts. The right to legal information not only helps to promote justice, good governance and transparency in government, but also gives every person a voice in the governance process. For civil purposes, uh, people are supposed to be aware of the procedures in which they are supposed to handle issues uh, so as to obtain benefits uh, legally or to retain back lost benefits uh, legally because in uh, many situations such uh, there are many benefits that get uh, lost because of uh, the lack of legal knowledge for that matter. Ukienda kutini pale utaongea nao kama ni maklax watakusaidia kama sio zamani unaenda unaongea utazungushwa paka karibu mchana yote mzima utoe kitu kidogo siku hiyo hakuna kitu tukitoa tukisaidika tukijua sheria naweza tusaidia naweza tulinda na tunajua hata haki yetu everything we do as people as lawyers you have to rely on law reports as long as you do litigation if you want to develop this society we also have got to develop it in terms of uh, ensuring that as much information as possible is provided to uh, ordinary people and that th those ordinary people then are able to use that information to aspire towards prosperity and towards uh, personal uh, improvement. In 1994, the National Council for Law Reporting was established through an Act of Parliament. The main mandate of the Council was to publish the laws of Kenya and the decisions of Kenyan courts while ensuring that the Mwanainchi is regularly informed and updated on legal developments. In the year 2000, when Kenya law started, it was, uh, it was very small and the the people involved were, were very few. Most of the work was manual. There was no, we had no these computers. In collection, like let's say collection of judgments, these court decisions, we had to go direct to the courts, the archives. Kenya law is providing Kenyan citizens with access to the updated content of all the laws of Kenya online for free. So for the first time in over 20 years, Kenya law has updated the entire text of the laws of Kenya and provided it for free online. We also have it provided in print and on CD. It's been a long and challenging journey in providing Kenyans with quality public legal information like the laws of Kenya and the decisions of the courts. We have come from a situation where from the 1980s and going backwards, Kenyans struggled uh, in accessing public legal information. Access to the judicial opinions from the courts was a big problem, even not only for the practicing advocates, but even for judicial officers. To a situation where now, with the work that Kenya law has done, the Kenyan citizen is able to access, at the click of a button, updated information about court decisions and the laws of Kenya. In light of the new constitution, the launch of the Judiciary Transformation Framework and the start of the second medium-term plan under the Vision 2030, the National Council for Law Reporting is undergoing transformation. The council is more popularly known as Kenya Law. Although the mandate of Kenya Law will remain giving Kenyans easy access to public legal information, the institution is now seeking to ensure that every Kenyan, even in the remotest corner of the country, can access the judgments of the courts, the laws of Kenya, and other vital legal information. Transforming the judiciary can be done overnight. So we decided to focus on four pillars. And you see those in the uh, judiciary tr uh, transformation framework. And we are using those pillars as foundations for the change that we think is necessary within the next four years, up to 2016. So technology, 
is very key. Uh, the issues of infrastructure, transformational leadership and access to justice, uh, pro-people, you know, uh, judiciary, all right? So all those ones are the ones we think we can do within our strategic plan of, you know, four years. I think that we are on the path of progress, irreversibly on the path of progress. I, th I think the judiciary is more robust than it has ever been in the history of this country. I think that the legal profession is growing uh, in leaps and bounds. Uh, we need to work on the, its, uh, its qualitative growth so that we do not just have a quantitative growth. And I think everybody who is a player in this sector understands that we are working towards that. The Attorney General's Office, the Office of the DPP are growing in strength and capacity. And I think that uh, the participation of government in court is at a much higher level than it's been uh, uh, since independence. The Constitution of Kenya guarantees freedom of information as one of the basic fundamental rights. Parliament has also passed the Freedom of Information Act, which again promotes access to information. So we have a good legal framework that we can now use to leverage technology, especially on access to justice through the use of technology. And one of them is through law reporting. An informed society is an empowered society. Kenya law is keen on working closely with individuals as well as public and private institutions, civil society and community-based organizations and religious bodies to empower our people and meet the needs of Kenyans for public legal information. First of all, I must uh, thank and congratulate uh, the Kenya law because uh, uh, the management of the Kenya law together its board and the staff of Kenya law have been working very hard in partnership with persons like that, with like us and other groups to see that information is accessible to all. So Kenya law has undertaken several steps, one of them being the use of uh, accessibility in its uh, website. They are using what is called the W3C rules that make it very possible for us guys who use uh, speech synthesizer programs to be able to access and interact with their website in such a manner that now I can be able to get the same information on the website that any other sighted person can get. Unless people you know, are aware of their rights and that unless they also understand that it is possible to actuate those rights, then it is as though those rights do not exist. We understand that it is very important uh, to make sure that this information is uh, made available uh, to the consumers uh, who are the public, who are the Kenyan public. And we have identified the Kenya uh, law reports as a key uh, uh, agency in terms of uh, disseminating uh, information on uh, human rights. Uh, so that our expectation is that once people really make use of the, of the facility of the, that the Kenya Law Reports has made available, uh, then we can look forward to having uh, an educated uh, public who are well aware of their rights, are well informed on the recent developments, and uh, you know, as as they, they they get to appreciate, you know, what the changes are, they get excited about them, and uh, increasingly, uh, they begin to make these uh, rights an everyday reality in their lives. We fully understand that for Kenyans to reap the fruits of the constitution they fought for for many years and ensure a just and equitable society, they must be empowered with information and knowledge to change their lives. Sikuizi kuna tafauti hata ukiingia pale utaona watu wanakusaidia kama uwajui kuandika ama ujui pahali utaona unaonyeshwa lakini zamani ukiingia kwanza mwenye unakutana naye ni makot brokers unaperekwa huku na huku ili utoe pesa. The government need to actually employ people to come to the grassroots and just tell them exactly the law says this and you are supposed to do this but not wait for the people ordinary mwananchi to read maybe the constitution for themselves haki ya binadamu najua 
binadamu ako na haki yake inaweza mlinda na inaweza msaidia hata asiende again somebody's right the kenya law is so pivotal in that objective because it's the one that is going to publicize these decisions is the one that is going to monitor what the courts are, are doing in terms of training and uh, uh, decision making. So it's, 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 it's part of the transformation in my view and I, I know they are doing a great job now. They are even digging up decisions in the past that were not uh, carried. Anytime a citizen is in a situation in which they need to understand the law, I encourage them and urge them to visit our website and to interrogate what a certain provisions of the law mean or what a certain decision means for them and to be more proactive in engaging with us in order for us to not only improve our services but to be able to provide the citizen with content and information that is relevant to them.